Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hate this town. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm just kidding. But anyway, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. So, in the last episode, someone was murdered, a German guy from Europe. And then these two, senior agent Ray and junior agent Reyes, came to Thim Thimbleweed Park to investigate this case. Although that doesn't seem to be the real reason why they are here. Uh, this murder is just a cover up and they have their own hidden motives why they are in Thimbleweed Park. I wonder what those are. Well, okay, I do know since I have played this game before, but maybe you don't know, so I'm not gonna spoil it. So, in the last episode we also learned about these uh, computers, uh, Plotron, Facetron, Fingertron and Arrestron 3000s, and now we know how they work. And now my plan is to go outside into town uh, talk to the locals and learn more about this place and and, and maybe about the uh, and maybe about this murder case. So with that, without further ado, let's continue with the re rest of the game here. And now let's just leave. Hm, I should open it first, of course. And uh, hm, shame that I can just click the doors. Now oh, the Pitchin brothers or sisters are here. And they should be fixing... yep, that. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. Slight leak, huh? Can I do, an can I do anything to help? What caused the leak? I would like to explore A Street. Yeah, we have to go there at, at, eventually at some point. I'd really like to explore A Street. Street's closed until we fix this leak. Why can't we just walk around the damn leak? Well, what caused it? What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, of course. Yes, the signals. Those damn signals. Okay, so we got a new thing to do. Pigeons need a, a WC-67 tube. Okay. Yeah, you got the same thing. Okay, well let's leave with Reyes as well. And I believe that Ray told Reyes to go to the diner. So yeah, we let's... should split up. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So let's do that. The diner is right over here. Sup, Sandy, and what was his name? I think his name was Dave. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, okay. what can I do for you, honey? Let's see. I'm a federal a federal agent, know anything about the dead body. What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of a weird arena. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Yeah, that's a good question. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Yeah, it was Dave. Ain't that right, Dave? Hmm. Uh, what's up with the sheriff? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and sheriff are the same person, though. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. Oh yes, of course. That proves it. That proves everything. Silly me, of course. Uh, how does speech prove they are not the same person exactly? How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. Right. So, no any anything about the dead body? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Well, obviously not. 
We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. Mm -hmm. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Oh, a flashback. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is in my opinion the best character in the, in the entire game. Ransom the Insult Clown. Okay, Ransom the Peeping Clowns to do... To peeping to list even. Put on my clown nose, get my peeping joke book back, get my get my clown for looking peeping great. Or get my clown for looking peeping great, apply my peeping awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the peep out of those idiots. Hmm. I wonder if we had the uh if we had the uncensored ransom the clown uh, DLC uh, installed. I I wonder if these peeps uh, would be if these peeps would, uh, would be uncensored as well. But anyway, P.S. My life is amazing and peep you for being jealous. Okay, and we got the nose straight away. In the uh, in the hard difficulty, we would have to pick up the nose from this clown doll here. Which doesn't really add that much of a challenge, but anyway. So, I guess we just use it. There we go. Ouch! That's tight! <laughs> Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. Oh, you have to wear it a lot, lot longer than that, I'm afraid. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. Yeah, that, yeah that's, a, that's a hint for the hard mode, that it's a bit too big, so you can pick it up and then use not. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special Ransom Clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Okay, and... Uh... Shiny trophies. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. And then we have poster. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the clown. That's me, face. Yeah, I I figured. And a hint line flyer. Oh, we got one of these. Here, it I says, guess. "Okay, need help playing Thimbleweed Park." Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 trademark at 4468. What oh. the? F <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so 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 there are more flyers like this. Good to know. W were there any flyers? I don't think there were any flyers like this in the hard mode. I would have noticed at some point. I'm sure. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Mm hmm. Okay, so we got that. And walk to a note. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the f clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Okay. So we have, so we have put the notes on. Hmm. Go see Carney Joe about getting my joke book back. Okay. Anything else here? What's in the refrigerator? Nothing. Okay. Microwave? Nothing. Mm, faucet. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. Hmm. Good, good to hear. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. Mm, must be nice. I should change my she sheets too as well. Anyway, and now can we pick up the... Yes, we can. So now we got the poster as well, and there is a safe here. It's my closed safe where I keep all my money. Okay, maybe you got enough enough money to... to, to pay that Joe, dude. Let's see. Can you open it? 
Oh uh, yes, <laughs> okay, you can open it because in the in the hard in the hard hard difficulty you would have to figure out the right combination as well, but not here. That's a load of moolah. Indeed, but is it is it enough? It's exactly a thousand dollars in unmarked bills. Ah, okay, so we got the exact exact amount. Okay, in the hard, in the hard difficulty we would not have enough in the safe alone. We would have to find some more money from somewhere else. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, fifty then. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen, and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Nice. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as. It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. Twenty-five bucks. I should have been a dentist. You. <laughs> okay. Okay, things seem to be going pretty well for Ransom for now. Okay, and hmm, very tall mime. You. <laughs> Yeah, what a way to greet someone. You! Go f yourself! Ah! Uh, well, f you! 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 Ah! Uh. <laughs> Doesn't pay any attention to us, huh? How about now? Grandson, you f idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I think my stilts are broken. I think my stilts are broken. I think my stilts are broken. Yeah, we heard you. I can't you. get up. I can't get up. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. Oh, don't worry, we got Ransom, enough noses. You jerk. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. Sure you will. And here we got the backstage. Okay. Swear jar. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to f pay up. Hmm, nice. So in, so in the hard mode, we, we would have to take money from our own swear jar here to pay Joe. Okay, and we got a telephone here. We could we could call to Hintron if, if I felt the need. But okay, now let's deal with our makeup here, I suppose. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. Oh, there's another clown. I don't wear f hats. Okay, fine. Hair gel. This goof keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. <laughs> oh, the choice of words. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. Nice. I need to put on my goddamn makeup. Never seems to last very long. Mm -hmm. Well, well, that, that's about to change. So let's pick up the goddamn makeup. It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Oh, don't worry. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Oh, there will be. Now there's the face I love. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. Oh really? So can we just go to the station? I can't go on stage without my joke book. Mm -hmm, okay. I might forget my best lines without it. Okay, now there's a cannon here. That's not gonna f work. Oh really? How do you know if you haven't tried? And besides, you're a clown. You you must have used a cannon before. Uh, like I don't know, use. That's not gonna f work. That's not gonna f work. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. I can't push that. Okay, fine. I kind of wish that he that he would have made a Monkey Island reference there. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Hmm. Speaking about big top, can we go in this way? I can't way? walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Oh. Uh, step right and up. here's Carney Joe. You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown. 
asswipe. Okay, you got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. Hmm, I need my joke book. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, one hundred thirty-eight dollars in interest. Oh, interest too. Where the f am I gonna get that, that. Kind of dough? I have a show to do. Not my problem. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's time to rob the jar. Hmm, yeah, I forgot about the interest. Okay, so that's still a thing. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Yeah, Maybe yeah, it's got time it. to rob the jar. Okay, fine. So how's the old ball and chain and kids? So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 13 kids. But they 13. still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. 13 kids, Jesus Christ. How many kids do you say you have? I have 13 kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a clue uh, for the hard mode. Uh, to figure out the right combina- the safe combination. But it's still here, in this, in, even, even in casual mode. Well, okay, we got you a thousand dollars. I have your money. A thousand bucks. Oh! So you decided to pay up! Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only a thousand dollars, and you owe me eleven hundred and thirty-eight, including the interest. Yeah, thought you'd settle for less. <laughs> uh, beggars can't be f choosers. Oh yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full eleven hundred and thirty-eight bucks. Now, beggar off. Well, okay, fine. Just shoot like Jesus. a man. Get eleven. Get eleven hundred thirty-eight bucks for Carney Joe. Well, we now know where to get the rest of the money, the interest. All the way back here. Guess we have to rob, rob your jar, Ransom. i just take the big bucks. Okay, you do that. Also, uh, could we... There's a jar list. What was the jar list about? Ransom's new swearing coaches. Hmm. <laughs> ah, holla, Mackie. Anti -innu Innuendo Montoya. Uh, these are Finnish names. Finnish name. Uh, what's so great about Finnish names is that you can recognize them from a from a simple glance, just like that. So they are so easily uh, recognizable from the rest. I love it. So yeah, this must be uh, some Kickstarter packer names. I bet. Okay. It's the list of all the who swore here at the circus. I'm the only. Who can swear? All the rest have to pay up. Hmm. Okay. Not surprised that not surprised that, that there was at least two Finnish names on that list. Perkele. Okay. And um, oh wait, <laughs> why, why, are, why are we coming here? <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Okay, so now we got all the Hansom, money. You jerk! Yeah. I'll get you, Hansom the clown. Yeah, yeah. We are a jerk, and I love it. Okay, and Come now over. there's your money, you cheap oh, bastard. So you decided to pay up? Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah, what do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny, you're scaring the customers. What customers? Lots of prizes. Everyone, everyone is at the big top. Well, whatever. Okay, so now we are. It's my joke book. Oh, no not that. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. Okay, okay. But now we are done with everything. Now we just need to go on stage and insult the peep out of the residents of Thimbleweed Park. 
Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the Insult Clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. Okay, uh, I... Hmm. The first thing that I just noticed is that that, that some of the characters that, that, are, that are references to uh, Ron Gilbert's other past games, LucasArts games, like they like the Maniac Mansion, for example, uh, there used to be two tentacles, the green and purple one, somewhere in the audience, but they are not here anymore. And I believe that... Uh, what was the professor's... What, what was the professor's name? Uh... Yeah, uh, you, you know, the professor from Maniac Mansion and Day of the Tentacle. Etna was the wife's name, but what was the <laughs> professor's name? Why do I, why I don't remember it right now? But anyway, they used to be here on the sta- uh, not on the stage, but in the audience as well. But they are gone too. Maybe they had to remove them due to copyright reasons or something like that. I don't know. I can't- I can't come up with any other reasons why they would- Why they would uh, remove references like that. But yeah, it, it's, a, it's a great shame if that's the case. Anyway. You guys baby love that pillow factory. I was amazed you aren't a bunch of fatsos. You all bunch of inbred freaks. That's a bit harsh. Thimbleweed Park is full of beeping snobs. You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. What's the deal with these beeping Tron machines? Mm, yeah, they seem to be quite obsessed with them, not gonna lie. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? That's some great priorities you got there. Yeah, you can't cure cancer or help the blind see, but at least you don't have to wipe your own asses thanks to the Toiletron 3000! Hmm, okay. You peeps read that rag, the nickel news? You read the rag, the nickel news? I'd use it as toilet paper, but I'm not sure it can fit any more on its pages. <laughs> Probably make it a more interesting read, though. Okay, now we're gonna in insult some some of the audience. Hey, kid with the crappy wheelchair. Oh, oh God. Hey, you dude with the stupid m uh, mustache. Well, let's start with him. Hey, you dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum PI? A '70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. <laughs> look at him now. He's crying. Oh, we are so terrible. And, uh... Lady with the huge nose. Hey, you! Lady with the huge nose! I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan! <laughs> you shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots! You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty! Jesus Christ. Hey, you! Kid with the crappy wheelchair. Hey, you! Kid with a crappy wheelchair! Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Ah, oh, no, he's... No, they're all crying. Well, that's a great person, aren't we? Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown. And even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Or oh, maybe he's a Wally -E fan. Now uh, you know, the the guy from where Where's Wally? -E? Maybe he maybe he's a fan of his. I don't know. Hey you, ugly ugly lady with the hairy mole. Oh. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Oh. Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself. It's not freeloading in my audience. Now you have done it. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laugh because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home! Now to get this makeup off, 
hop on my private jet and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the? Got a problem, Ransom? This makeup isn't coming off. Well, hey, you you wanted more permanent variety of makeup, so there you go. Yeah, old lady. You up the you. Come on. Imagine if if his dialogue was not censored. His makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old. I really should replay this game again with Ransom uncensored. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little? Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Damn. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. Double there down. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. Triple the down. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. Quad triple down. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. So everything that could have gone wrong just went wrong. Can't help but feel a little bad for Ransom, even though he is a big douche. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. I think we need a bit more than a bit more than that to to go and arrest him. Okay, so go talk to Ransom the Clown. Okay, and... Oh, speck of dust. Fuck yes, pick that one up. Now we got three specks of dust. Dead yes. ringer for the body. Oh. Now, what did I... What did I click there? Well, he, well, anyway. We did some uh, cl uh, clean up for you, Sandy and Dave. Picked up some specks of dust. You should be grateful. We're doing some cleaning for you. Ah, delicious! I can't wait to eat one. Well, let's uh, order one then. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Let's take that hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Mm. If I remember correctly, mm. in hard mode you could not get hot dogs okay. immediately. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I um gotta go. Oh, that's just nasty. Don't throw up on that speck of dust there. <sighs> I feel better now. Good for you. Uh, if I recall correctly, we had to we had to taste every every single dish offered on the menu. Before we could actually order some hot dogs. Oh! Ouch. I forgot about that part completely. I just wanted to pick up that speck of dust, man. Well. Shit. And we got the same things here. Pigeons need a WC67 tube and go talk to Ransom the Clown. Okay, well let's, t let's take care of the... Uh, the tube. And I need to stay focused and solve this murder so we can't, I can get on with my plan. We can't switch characters. We can't play as Reyes. Uh, it was... Uh, this is B Street. It should be around here. The shop. Here it is. Ricky's Cakes. I want. I God damn it! I didn't want to leave. I, I, I wanted to talk to her. There. She is too far away. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. That's better. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Mhm. Mm what an what an exciting life you lead. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? Okay, so I'm looking for a tube for a friend of a uh, friend of mine. 
Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? What do you think of Chuck? Well, let's ask for the tube first. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Mm, it was... WC. And what is the make number? 67. Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh-huh. Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Hmm, thanks. But before we go... Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. Ricky's Tubes? I thought, I, thought, I thought it was Ricky's Cakes. Oh, did she say Ricky's Tubes earlier? She just hasn't... Uh, she just uh, hasn't uh, replaced the name on the windows yet. Well, anyway. So, what do you know about the body? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose! I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. Hmm. You are so naive. You're naive to be so trusting. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, and they are like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure, but I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. Okay, sure. And since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Well, well she just called it Ricky's Tubes. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Oh, we do have some. Tubes for rubes. Down the tubes. Tube Town and YouTube. Of course I picked YouTube in my first playthrough, but we're gonna pick something different this time. Let's see. Tubes for Rubes, Down the Tubes, Tube Town. I like the sound of Down the Tubes. Down the Tubes? Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Hmm. Well, you're, you're welcome. And why did you stop selling cakes anyway? Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Okay. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead out of all things? Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Mm-hmm. So are you really uh, happy? Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. Mm -hmm. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. Well, good for you, I suppose. And what do you think of this Chuck? What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his tube-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. Okay, and what do you think of the state of the town? I mean, like pretty much every store that we have seen so far, ex excluding this one and the and the uh, what a uh, diner, uh, excluding this and the diner, everything is closed. What do you think about the state of the town then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A really? couple of stores have closed, sure. A couple. But it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. Mm. Well, I like that optimism of yours. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Eh, uh, we will. And I believe that we have to come back here. Again, in the future.
But now, let's go and deliver this tube to the Pigeon Brothers, or sisters, sorry. Hmm. I wasn't there a green uh, tool, like a wrench or something in the tool pack. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that, that there was one. Hmm, weird. Ah, uh, well, well, anyway. I'm let's... already carrying it. Oh, hmm. Give. Give the tube to the uh, pigeons. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Well, that was easy. Oh, fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Okay, fair enough. Pigeon Brothers, Plumbing, Electrical, and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wrench around. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Oh, even frights too. Hm, damn it, I forgot to check if there were any specks of dust at the... At the... Uh, down the tubes. Now... Now that I gave her that name. Well, anyway, let's let's keep moving. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, actually. We have done some nice progress. And in the next episode, well, let's explore uh, A Street. And then let's also try to find out what happened to Agent Ray. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Thimbleweed Park.